What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and yesterday Bungie released their newest weekly update and boy was it a big one. There was a lot of information jam packed into that weekly update. A lot of it was regarding weapon tuning coming to Destiny in the newest patch that's going to come out right before the release of the next expansion, the Taken King. So there's a lot of information to cover. I don't want to go over all of it. Uh, one by one and bullet point by bullet point because that's going to be too long of a video but basically I want to ask you guys what you think is going to be the meta going into the next uh, I guess era of destiny after this patch finally comes out and is finally available for us to try and test out so um, I'm going to go over briefly some of the changes in general just so we have a reference point of what um, is being said in this weekly update in regards to weapon tuning and then I'll give you guys my thoughts and stuff on there so starting off with the auto rifles there was a general buff overall from the auto rifles just because auto rifles were nerfed um, I think multiple times I believe it was nerfed multiple times over a couple patches um, in the beginning of Destiny's lifespan and it was really dominant in the very beginning of Destiny's game. Auto rifles were one of the go-to weapon types of many players when the game was released. And uh, it kind of fell off now that they were nerfed so much. And now that there are a lot better choices in weapon types. So they needed a buff to kind of be able to compete once again. And that's really good. So maybe we'll see auto rifles back on the map. Suros Regime might be a contender once again. Because that was one of the best auto rifles or one of the best weapons overall in the game to choose in uh, Crucible or PvP in general. And then going into Pulse Rifles and Scout Rifles and Hand Cannons, there were uh, a few buffs, small buffs, like increasing the magazine size and stuff like that, and boosting damage to uh, AI for the Scout Rifles. Um, but overall, there were some nerfs as well to all of those, especially the Hand Cannons. Um, the Hand Cannons were one of the more popular choices especially in crucible and even the exotic hand cannons um, were mentioned later on in the update specifically um, because they needed to address them as well but hand cannons in general also got nerfed so um, we might see less use of hand cannons overall even in pv besides pvp this also affects some pve content uh, because they did nerf some some stuff in general, so it's gonna go and roll over into PVE. But still, um, these guns they're trying to make it more balanced, so that you I guess have to choose what you want to use in certain situations uh, better. And um, basically, they're making it more balanced across the board, so you have a decision to make instead of. Um, having to just choose something just because it's the best choice, it's the only choice kind of thing. So yeah. And then um, besides that, they nerfed some of the special weapons. So shotguns and fusion rifles got nerfed. Shotguns mainly were the biggest complaint from everyone. So shot package was nerfed. We saw a nerf to rangefinder as well. Also reducing the precision damage multiplier and even reducing damage against AI. So even in PvE, shotguns got a buff, or not a buff, a nerf, uh, because I guess they buffed it too much in the previous patch. So yeah. And then the last couple things that they mentioned for weapon types in general is that sniper rifles and rocket launchers are being changed. Uh, for the sniper rifles, they finally addressed the final round perk on high impact sniper rifles, especially... Uh, so for final round, the perk, uh, it will only buff damage on precision shots. So that's really good. It pretty much makes it useless in uh, PvP just because uh, if you get a headshot or a precision shot, you pretty much will get the kill anyway and you don't need that extra damage boost. So um, that's really good. It still requires you to get um, a headshot on them. So pretty much final round is useless overall, but I like that it's still useful in a PvE because getting final round bonus damage in PvE against like boss fights or any type of enemy that isn't be isn't uh, killable in one hit uh, is really good because you can then deal more damage and still utilize the final round perk in a PvE. So that's really good instead of taking it out completely. 
And then finally for rocket launchers, um, they pretty much just nerf grenaded horseshoes so that the proximity detonation is reduced. And then also a slight increase to blast radius. Uh, so I guess that might offset a little bit of the nerf on grenade and horseshoes. But grenade and horseshoes is really good and really useful in PvP. So I don't know how that's going to work out because they don't specifically list any numbers. They just say like reduce things or decrease things. So we'll see when we finally get to test it how much they change stuff. And then they finally go into exotic weapons in specific and uh, they mentioned hard light, necrochasm, which is what they buffed. Uh, they also mentioned last word and thorn, which are the two best guns in the game right now. The two meta guns of uh, PvP or Crucible. And they're reducing the thorn dot or nerfing it. They're also nerfing the last word so that you don't get extra damage on aim down sights shots. Uh, they're decreasing the range, decreasing stability, stuff like that to uh, last word and then thorn is getting a nerf on the dot or damage over time um, and stuff like that and then they finally mention other weapons like hawkmoon icebreaker no land beyond black hammer lord of wolves and galahorn i don't want to go too in depth on some of those though because i want to talk about them in uh, another video so um, that's pretty much the main gist of the update and the weapon tuning and uh, basically, I want to ask you guys what you think the meta is going to be. So basically, it seemed like auto rifles were the only ones that benefited fully from this um, patch or update. And I think that auto rifles won't be the dominant gun again, like how it was in the very beginning of the game. But I do think that they will be able to compete once again. And I think that um, some of these weapons will still shine in Crucible. But um, it's going to be more of a balance. So I think, based on what it seems, I think Thorn and the Last Words can still be utilized. I still think they might be decent. Um, I don't think they're going to be as dominant as how they were prior to this patch. But I think they're still going to be really good. I think that Surus Regime and good auto rifles will be good. I think that post rifles seem like they still will be good, even though they did nerf it um, a little bit. But I still think Pulse Rifles will be good, so you can still use Red Death. I think that would still be a good gun, Red Death, and uh, even Messenger, stuff like that. Or any good high-impact Pulse Rifles that you might have, um, Legendaries from the past as well, and stuff like that. So, PvP in general, um, the only thing I'm not sure what's going to happen is with the special weapons, like shotguns. I think Sniper Rifles will be... A more popular choice maybe now because shotguns seem like they're getting a big nerf and um, it's gonna be a lot harder because you might have to be in a really really close quarters scenario to get kills with your shotgun so I'm not how I'm not sure how much the range on shotguns are being reduced but um, if it's gonna be nerfed a lot then I think sniper rifles will be a more popular choice amongst everyone so yeah so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know what you guys think about some of these weapon tuning changes coming to Destiny. And what you guys think will be the top guns. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.